Hey. Okay. Oh, we're live. Okay. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Where was Marie Joseph Angelique born? Madeira, Portugal, Eastern Ethiopia or modern day Kenya, Guinea or modern day Nigeria, or Guela or modern day Angola? All right. So if the two of you are answering, I'll be watching for two votes before I move on. So while our non-trivia tweets uh, Google, I'll just uh, welcome everyone here. Uh, thanks again to Black History Manitoba for lending us their Zoom. And uh, the winner tonight uh, gets to, uh, oh, hang on a sec, gets a copy of this book, which is uh, really cool. I got so excited while I was, uh, oh, they're here. <laughs> to some <A. laughs> Okay. So anyway, I got so excited while I was uh, um, studying for the course, I decided I was going to buy this and give it away. So, uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and once uh, Valerie gets her sound working, I'll let her talk about her story rather than myself. So um, Valerie, what you'll want to be doing is uh, going to crowd.live and entering the code IWHX5 and then it'll ask you what your name is. That's just to keep score. And then you'll want to click on, uh, on the right answer. So uh, the question is, where was, uh, how do you pronounce that, Jen? <laughs> Marie-Joseph Angelique. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just had Valerie join us. She's not on video yet. So that's why we're uh, getting her up okay. to speed there. So the question is, where was she born? Hi, Valerie. <laughs> Hi, Valerie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> And if you answer right now, you'll still get 58 points. It's, it's counting down very slow, 57, 56. <laughs> okay, I have two votes, Michael. Oh, well, I guess uh, I won't, I won't be playing. <laughs> Hi. Jen, I'm not going to play because I know the answers because I wrote the quiz. So, okay. Well, uh, then we can end that. Uh, the correct <laughs> answer was Madeira, Portugal. Don't click next. <laughs> I did. Okay, excellent. Where's, where's your fancy music? Oh, I didn't play it because I was talking. Oh, okay. So I just want to introduce Valerie. Hello, Valerie. Welcome here. Well, why don't uh, you tell everybody about your story? Because I think it's awesome, but uh, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Okay. Um, hi. I am happy to join you. I have wanted to join and play along for a really long time, but I somehow always miss the date. <laughs> so it's really nice to finally be here. Um, so Tisome books um, just means let's read. It's a word from Kiswahili, which is a language spoken in several African countries. Um, I wanted to call it Tisome books uh, because it's an invitation for everyone, like readers from all over the world to come together and read and explore, you know, the diversity that we have in, in this country specifically. And so we carry books um, that represent various marginalized voices. So we're carrying books by people from um, African countries and Asian countries. Um, we have books written about and by people who have, you know, various disabilities or people who belong to the LGBT community. Um, so yeah, the bookstore is, is mainly about representation and diversity. Um, the idea is just to, to encourage readers to kind of explore all these different voices that are often neglected or left out of what's considered to be the mainstream. And it's been a remarkable journey where, you know, we've been around for a year and a half now and it's it's been fun. So I'm just looking forward to seeing how things continue to play out, but yeah. That's, that's all I have. <laughs> Unless yeah. someone has questions, I mean, I'm happy to answer them. Yeah, I found your store through uh, Black Owned Manitoba, and which is uh, something uh, that I didn't know about, but it, it's, it's great. And I found a few businesses through there, some restaurants and stuff. My wife works at uh, Chapters, so she knows uh, she knows oh. ISBN numbers and all that stuff that 
you deal with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've worked there for yeah. 10 and a half years. Yeah. And, yeah. and Valerie's been really good about special ordering stuff too. So just uh, don't be afraid yeah. to ask. She's, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you like anything that we don't actually have in the store, just send us an email or fill out the special order form on our website and yeah we'll definitely be happy to get it in for you for sure have to check out your website what is your, your address website. uh it's tusomebooks.com okay and but you're you have a, a storefront no oh sorry we are an online bookstore we don't have okay yes okay mm -hmm. well, that's a great that's Perfect. a good idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah it worked out well with with COVID. Yeah. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can see that how that would work. Yeah. So Valerie was nice enough to agree to special order this for us. So um, as soon as we, <coughs> as soon as the game's been order entered, I'll get get the winner's address and put it in there. And who knows, Sweet. Valerie? Maybe we'll ship you'll ship it to yourself. <laughs> I don't think I could. I can't play tonight. I don't have a laptop and I just have my iPhone. And, I, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll just watch and learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready for question two? We are. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, and I just crashed completely. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. 97. Where was she saved before being moved to Montreal in 1725? In Haiti? in New England, in Jamaica, or in Northern Florida or modern day Georgia? Are you back, Andrea? Yes, I am. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it restored my tabs pretty quick. Okay, the votes are in and both participants got the correct answer. It was in New England. All right. Question three. Who was the father of Angelique's three children, which died as infants? Francois Poulain de Francheville, Claude Thibault, Philippe Hertrick, or Jacques César? All right, off to Google you go. And if you discover anything interesting that you want to share with the group after, while you're Googling, but by all means, let us know and we'll, uh, we'll stop and, and learn from you. Because we're here to learn together, so. Thank you. 
So like I said, the winner gets the, uh, the book, but everyone who plays uh, gets one of these as well. So um, we've got these three Black History Manitoba Celebration Committee. It's like a, a yearly planner thing. So there's a, there's a page for every month and there's a little bit of historical stuff on every page. We're nice. trying to get, get rid of these while it's early in the year and people can still use them. So make sure you uh, get me your addresses in the chat or uh, by email afterwards so I can drop these off. Do you want one too, Jen? Uh, yes, please. Okay, yeah. <laughs> when you drop your sweatshirt off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have both votes. We had, uh, or the correct answer is Jacques César. Mm. And my mouse is being dumb. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Dre. Even with the crashing, you're doing <laughs> doing pretty good. I did some reading in advance. It helps. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There's a lightning round at the end, Valerie, so there's a good chance for everyone to catch up. <laughs> well, you'll learn about that later. <laughs> okay, question four. With whom did Angelique flee slavery? Was Jack Cesar the father of her children? With no one, she struck out on her own, with her lover, Claude Thibault, or none of the above. This is fascinating. Are you finding your answers on Wikipedia or Canadian Encyclopedia or both or? Um, I read a bunch of stuff before coming on. I know there's answers on Wikipedia, but there was a, a lot um, that I kind of dug into. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I tried to pick questions where it was on Canadian Encyclopedia, which I'm um, getting into more now that we're, we have a Canadian uh, focus. Um, and finding places where they didn't contradict each other, right? So it's always, always, always interesting when you're going back this many hundreds of years and some of the things aren't so clear. What other resources did you find, Andrea? Um, there, hang on, I have one of them open. Mm. You can share um, screen if you want. So under Canadian Mysteries, actually, there was a whole piece mm. um, on, on her uh, yeah. the torture and truth of uh, Angelique. So I was in there. And from there, I sort of deep dive into whatever other links that they had and stuff yeah. going on. Stuff. There's lots of it out there. Um, and, you know, talking to Bree, it was like, well, they don't teach this stuff in school. <laughs> it's no. like, why don't they teach this stuff in school? And it's like, well, you know, you know who writes the history, therefore. <laughs> okay, both votes are in, and they are both correct with her lover, Claude Thibault. All right. So one thing I didn't... Um, with Jacques Caesar, if I'm um, excuse the mispronunciation, but um, I don't think they were, you know, together on, on purpose, but the history is really not that clear on that. But it seems like they were forced to make kids so that the owners could own more, own more uh, enslaved people. Um, but there's no real history on that. But just that uh, because Jacques wasn't the one she fled with, 
the next year, you know, not, not too far after. I, I don't think they were together by choice, but that's, that's just an opinion. I, I don't really know. But it makes sense. It does, yeah. Okay, question five. Did Angelique and Thibault escape to freedom? Yes, they made it to New England or no, they were captured. Okay, both votes are in. The correct answer was no, they were captured. Notes, uh, Jen? It says, unclear where they were captured. Wikipedia yeah. mentions that they made it to Chateau Gay, but Canadian Encyclopedia says they were captured in Chamblay, which is quite a distance on foot. Well, it's not only quite a distance, but it's the wrong direction. Uh, the, play, the first place is not on the way to New England, where the, the place where they, where they were captured was. So, it, and Wikipedia says they made it as far as, but doesn't say they were captured there, but I, I don't okay. think they would be going that direction unless, they, they definitely did make it across the river, which was frozen, which is, uh, must've been pretty scary. Uh, but, uh, okay, uh, we are going to, oh, there she is. Okay, oh, yeah, no, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> question six. Come on, computer. There we go. Who was blamed for the 1734 fire which destroyed a large portion of Montreal? Marie Joseph Angelique, Claude Thibault, Mathieu Laville, both A and B. Don't worry, Jen. Valerie was here the whole time. She just turned her video off for a bit. So that's okay. Uh, both folks are in. The yep. correct answer was D. Both A and B. But so you you'll get pay. you get points for A, B, or D because we're right. generous here. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but yes, they were both um, they were both blamed, uh, but only one was caught. So. Uh, Okay, question seven. Frustrated by the lack of hard evidence, the prosecution contemplated asking for permission to apply torture. What changed their mind? Their conscience, pressure from social justice activists. A five-year-old girl testified that she witnessed Angelique carrying hot coals up to the attic or they didn't change their mind. They applied torture prior to a definitive judgment and used her confession as evidence. Thank you. 
I was trying to train to show off our cat. It's my cat. It's my cat. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> that was Toby. Okay, both votes are in. The correct answer was C. Was anyone shocked by the injustice of our justice system <laughs> this year not at that time no <laughs> no I, I i was but i guess i'm naive and expect it. it's it's just brutal what they're what they were about it's not very often a five-year-old girl testifies either that's true no okay question eight Mouse is being dumb. After the inquisitorial tribunal found Angelique guilty, what did the court change on appeal? The guilty, oh, sorry. The guilty verdict was overturned and she was set free. The brutality of her death sentence was reduced. Mm. Nothing at all, the verdict and sentence were upheld. <laughs> Okay, both votes are in and both are correct. The answer was B. Yes, thank goodness for that. Um, who's winning, Jen? The leader is Korea. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay, question nine. Who performed the torture and execution? Executions were, were uncommon, so nothing was in place. Finally, the Marquis Butler agreed to help. Philip Hertrich, Charles Henri Sanson, Matthew Lavallee, another enslaved person brought to New France from the Caribbean. You were on mute there, Valerie. We missed what you were saying. I'm sorry, I was speaking to someone here. Oh, oh <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> Just so you know, you've got a good chance to catch up in the lightning round. I think you were. <laughs> I don't want to win. <laughs> yeah. mm -mm. 
Oh. I'm not muted, by the way. Okay, both votes are in. The correct answer was D. Okay, so let's explain the lightning round to Valerie while there's time, because once that timer starts, it's... Uh... Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's, uh, I won't read the question. Uh, answer with your heart or your gut. First correct answer gets the most points. And it could swing the game. And you won't have time to Google anyway, because uh, the points are going to go down like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> Everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, there's no time. Because Angelique was arrested based on public knowledge, and the tribunal's verdict verdict is a foregone conclusion. It's hard to say for sure who started the fire. What is Ms. Cooper's thoughts on this? Afua. Ayufa. We'll get Valerie's take on this because she uh, runs a bookstore. I'm, I'm convinced it's Afua because the yeah. F comes first. It makes sense. Uh, there was a CBC podcast where they called her Ayutha. So she's been called two different things, uh, Valerie, but she hasn't corrected anybody. But do you know how to pronounce uh, her name? Ayutha I'm, Cooper or Afwa Cooper? I, I would say Afwa. I don't actually know. <laughs> okay. And Jen I mean, would be right. <laughs> I'm choosing Afwa until I learn differently. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you both got the correct answer. Which brings us here. Whoa. Whoa! I've never seen a score that high. <laughs> Nor have I. But that, that is amazing. Amazing. You just, let me just screen grab this. Read just a little bit in advance. Haste <laughs> to read in advance. Exactly. Yep. Wonderful. All right. So uh, congratulations. I'll go on Valerie's store and I'll put in your address. And I know, I know your address because you won last time. <laughs> so Valerie, make sure um, you connect with me on Twitter and uh, get me your address so I can get you, your, get you this. And I hope to see you back next time. I, it was really great to have you. And don't worry, there'll be lots of notice. We, we do these every two or three weeks, usually three. So oh. it'll be a little while. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right. It was nice to meet you. It was very nice and, to meet you. And you as well. Nice to meet yep. you. Yep. Nice to see you, Jen. Had anyone heard of uh, Angel Angelique before, before this event? Or? Not me. Not me? Okay. Not me either. Yeah. I had, um, but yeah. I haven't read, read it. She's on, she was on my you know, reading list, but I haven't okay. gotten out to it yet. OK. Well, that's good. I, I wish I had known about her sooner. Um, I think, yeah. Does anyone want to say if they think she did it or not? Because the history is really unclear on that, but uh, I, I think she did. I, I, I think would fight did. with Afua Cooper on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Afua um, did come to that opinion does have that opinion that she did it, you know, because there, there's a history, like she did start a fire before and she had said she was going to, but none of that is hard evidence, but uh, I, I, 
I like, I'm interested in her take uh, on that uh, and reading the book too, if I can get a chance to. It's such a sad story. Yes. Well, thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing this. Thank okay. you for letting me just kind of watch. Well, you just had your COVID shot, so. Yeah, I'm really tired. Yeah. Alrighty, we'll catch you next time. Okay. Right. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.